Hey guys, sorry it's been a little quiet on this channel. I've been pretty busy building my own vapor blaster and the parts come out amazing. Okay, I have a bunch of parts here that I just blasted. We'll get to the machine in a second, but I just wanna show you the results. They're freaking amazing. And uh, I just got a few things to discuss here. Okay, so here are a few parts. This is obviously the before, cause that's what this part looked like just before blasting. This took about two to three minutes to blast completely brand new looking and one thing about vapor blasting is that the finish is very smooth over here this was dry blasted I don't know if you can hear that but it's scratchy and rough this is really smooth and I wish you guys can see this and feel it for yourself this is porous it's rough and it'll stain if i had a greasy finger this would stain this surface not so much okay over here we have a piston that we blasted took again one to two minutes it's completely clean looks beautiful Over here, this cover, I duct taped a section, so let's peel the tape off. So look at that, man, really clean this up. Again, this took about 30 seconds to do this just little area. A lot of pits in here, this cover's junk, but you get the idea. I mean, just look at the difference. And here's a tappet cover, pretty much it looked like this before. Again, a couple minutes of blasting, looks brand new. All right, guys, so here it is. I have converted my Harbor Freight blast cabinet into a vapor blaster. I dumped $1,300 worth of parts into it as you see it here. All right, so I created plans so you too can build one of these machines. These plans are available for purchase by clicking in the link in the upper right or in the video description. Now the plans include a three hour long video detailing how to build this step by step. You also get a spreadsheet that has links to the 100 parts that you need to build this thing. Also, it comes with a wiring schematic that you're going to need for the control box. As always, my patrons are going to get these plans for free. I have 33 patrons. They're pledging a certain dollar amount to support this channel, and they get free stuff like this. If you're interested in spending a little less on the plans, consider becoming a patron, and there'll be more information in the upper right link over here. And you can get a t-shirt and stuff like that. Okay, at the time of this video, there are no DIY plans out there. I searched hard and I found very little information on how to build one of these. So these plans are complete and I give you all the info you need to make this thing work really freaking good. Okay, let's back up for a second and discuss what vapor blasting actually is. The term is a little misleading because it has vapor in it and there actually is no vapor in this system. So what I have here is a reservoir that is full of water and abrasive media. There's an electric pump in there that agitates the mixture into a slurry and then pumps it up to this hose to the blast gun. Air is introduced and blasting occurs, just like it would with dry blasting. The difference is it's wet and it results in a really desirable finish for restoring aluminum parts. Also, the pump that I'm using is proven for this application and is being used in this industry. So it's gonna be reliable. So here's how this machine works. You turn the button on and it powers up the lights. Once you hit the air operated foot pedal, the control box takes over and turns everything else on automatically. The slurry pump fires up and so does the window water wash and window wiper. It also has an hour meter so you can track how long parts take and how long media lasts and stuff like that. The control box is really easy to build and the video walks you through all of that as well. Okay, so today you have two options if you want vapor blasting. Number one, you pay a shop 75 bucks an hour to process your parts. Number two, you buy a really expensive machine. The CB550 parts that I had done back in July, that was done in a $25,000 machine. Now the cheapest machine out there runs about $4,000 and I actually demoed one of those machines. And both machines are, are super nice. They probably process parts quicker than this Obviously, it's much nicer than this, but this is a fraction of the cost, and it gets you in the game of vapor blasting. 
Okay, so here's the finish that was achieved with a $25,000 machine. Here are the results with my $1,300 machine. They feel the same, they look the same, 1300 bucks. Now this machine is way nicer, and I bet you it cleans parts two to three times faster than mine. However, these are results I got in my garage for cheap. So you know what, I like figuring stuff out, so I said F it, I'll build my own. Okay, so here's what you're gonna need besides my plans. You're gonna need to hook this thing up to a garden hose or fresh water for the window wash, and for the rinse nozzle. You're also gonna need to plug this in into a 110 outlet. And lastly, you're gonna need a really good compressor. Two stage, five horse, pushing 15 CFM or more is what you need. And you know, that, that holds true for any blasting. Now in the video plans, I'll discuss the sizing of the gun, but basically the more CFM you have, the quicker you're gonna blast parts. Okay, all the parts you need to build this thing are off the shelf items. You're going to buy everything online or at the local big box store. Stores like Amazon, Granger, DigiKey, eBay, everything can be purchased online. There are no custom parts in this thing. There are a couple sheet metal brackets that I made and they are simple Z or C shaped uh, pieces that you will need. And also I needed a large 7 by 30 inch sheet metal panel to uh, patch the hole from the light enclosure here. But that's about it as far as custom parts. Common hand tools, that's all you're going to need. Some wrenches, you're going to need a good hole saw kit and a step drill so you can punch a bunch of holes in this and the control box. So this video is also going to teach you a bunch of basic skills, AC wiring, DC wiring, plumbing, and much more. Now building and using this machine is a lot of fun. I got to tell you that right off the bat. Okay, so I bought $1,300 worth of parts. However, looking back, I could, I could really cost reduce this big time. For example, I used brass fittings pretty much everywhere. They are very expensive. I certainly could have used plastic in a lot of areas and that would definitely cut out at least 300 bucks. And you don't need the control box. It's just nice to hit the foot pedal and go. If you want to turn on things manually with switches and whatnot, you can certainly do that and reduce the cost even further. All right, that's it. If you want the video plans, you're going to see a link there and in the video description, and let's go blast some parts. All right, here we go. Let's blast some parts. 